right now. But does finish him off. Gets two. Gets three. What a, what a hit that hits him 65%. Oh! And does it go in? It goes in! It goes in! The wide swing Hello, Pyro Nation. Welcome again. Hope you're enjoying your evening. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are still watching Marion Ecology Esports. So we're going to have our Rocket League team go up against Olivet Nazarene University in today's Star League Varsity Plus competition. The only difference is everyone agreed to start at 15 minutes earlier, which is why I started this 15 minutes earlier. So without further ado, let's go over a couple things but right before we get things started. So let's go over that roster again in case you're wondering who's the, on the Rocket League team again. So we're going to have freshman Joel Crispin V. Corsic playing. We're going to have sophomore Justin Shanklin Shank playing. And we're also going to have freshman Corey Verkaterin, our captain, Lotus Cloden, also playing. And then shout outs to our coaches, head coach Derek Games, Games Grump, and our Rocket League coach, Caden Lamorg Hempathy. So let's go over a few quick announcements. So first of all, we want to thank HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Meridian College Esports. They provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones, we love the quality of their work. If you want to check out some HyperX peripherals, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash MarianaES. The QR code is on your screen. Also, shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Tuesdays and Thursdays are their game nights. So you can go to their restaurant and play some Switch. And on Tuesday, you can watch our Rocket League. I'm sorry, not our Rocket League. Our Overwatch team play. And, well, I think we're getting ready for things to get started. So I'm going to go over here and make sure we are good to go. So let's get in. To the matchup here, Marietta will be on the blue side this time, and I need to update the scores. My apologies from the last game. It is 0-0. So we're going to see Twinkle take the ball down the field, putting some pressure onto the Pioneers, looking for a shot, but Cloden is going to get the block. Mighty Gooberfish is fighting for control, but Cloden is going to get the ball away from him. But now, IJ Munoz is going to be, I'm going to call him IJ for now on, Shank gets the block from Mighty Gooberfish. IJ is going for the shot, but does not get it. Shank and V-Corsicker take the ball down towards the field. Gets knocked down, but Twinkle is there to deflect the back. But Cloden out of boost, but he is still going to fight for that ball. But not much there. And IJ is going to knock it away. Shank's going to fight for control over there. Getting it past Mighty Gooberfish. Maybe an opportunity for a score for the Pioneers. But IJ actually is going to knock it away. I don't think it would have gone in despite that. And now Cloden's going to be fighting for control of the ball, but Twinkle is going to get it away from him. Now he's going to fall back. Shank and V-Corsic are there to help defend, but no one is able to connect, fortunately. Now V-Corsic is going to take control of the ball, going down the field, maybe going a little too fast, and loses control of the ball. Shank now is going to take a shot at, but Twinkle gets it away from him. Cloden now going to be fighting for it, gets it away from Mighty Gooberfish, but IJ is going to try to set it up for Mighty Gooberfish. He's going to go for the shot, but V-Corsic with the epic save. Now Shank is going to be fighting for control. Twinkle is fighting there as well. IJ does not get an opportunity to fight for it. Shank and Mighty Gooberfish are fighting for it. Twinkle's going to take the ball down the side of the field. V Corsic is going to snatch it away from him. But IJ may be looking for an opportunity. But Clone's going to strike right back. Lobbing towards the goal. And V Corsic is going to go for the shot. And Pioneers will strike first. So it's a great setup by Clonin. V Corsic. He's going to just boost right over, gets over Twinkle, and goes into the goal. 3 minutes, 16 seconds remaining uh, in this best of five series. Now Cloden and IJ will kind of fight towards the center, but now Mighty Gooberfish is going to be setting up the play for all of it, Nazarene. But V Corsic is going to snatch away Twinkle now to take control, but Cloden takes it away from him. And Shank's going to get demo. Shank gets demo quite a bit in these matchups. I'm not so sure what he did to tick everyone off, but it just seems like he gets demoed more than anyone else on the Pioneers. We'd have to, like, find some stats on demos. But anyway, IJ Munoz is going to be sending up the play for Oliver Nazarene. Goes for the shot, but does not get it. The Pioneers do snatch it away. But now Twinkle's going to take a stab at the goal, but loses control. But now we see Gooberfish going for the shot, but no follow-up from Olivet Nazarene. IJ Munoz 
He's going to fight, but V Corsic does get in the way. Twinkle now is going to get demoed by Shank. And with an open goal, all the Nazarene will strike. So, yeah, you got the demo. But Mighty Goobervish is going to hit it over, but Norm was over there to protect it. So now it's one apiece. Two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in this first game. Clodin's going to win the tip up, but Mighty Gooberfish is going to fight with Clodin for control. Pioneers are heavily committing towards this. Twinkle gets demoed in the air by V Corsic. But now IJ Mutus is going to go for the shot, but Shanks right there to knock it away. And a lot of deflecting back and forth. Two from Alvin Nazarene are there, but Shanks going to cause a bump. But another goal exposed, but Clodin's going to be looking to tip it away towards the corner. Mighty Gooberfish and Clodin are going to fight for it. And it's going to come right back towards the Pioneer's goal, but Shank is there to disrupt that. But now Twinkle's going to take a shot, but doesn't get quite the, the boost he needed. But now we see Alvin Nazarene passing to Gooberfish, but Clonin's going to knock it away. IJ Munis is going to go for the shot, but Shank is going to get the save. And out of boost, but he's going to try to make a play, but does not connect. Now he's got full boost. Clonin's going to go for the shot, but does not connect. Shank's going to go for the rebound, also doesn't connect. Clonin gets it away from Mighty Gooberfish. IJ Munis, though, is going to lob it back. A minute 18 remains. It's still one apiece. IJ Munis is going to go for the shot, and they will strike. Clonin does win the tip off. And what the heck? What was that? I was just saying, okay, he just hits the ball, it gets ricocheted over, and it just bounces in the goal. Okay. We're tied up again, two piece. Crazy things happen in Rocket League, folks. Of course, it's gonna win the, the shot. I mean, it's, it stops at dead center. Now Mighty Goofers is gonna be going for a shot, but Clonin does get the save. So now I've got about a minute left. It is still one apiece. It goes over. B Corsic tries to go for the shot, but IJ Minus is there for the ball. Clonin's going to go for the goal. And he still scores. Pioneers are now up by one with 52 seconds remaining. So Clonin, yeah, goes in. Twinkle tries to knock it away, but it bounces into the goal. So can Pioneers keep up this momentum? They have to make sure they don't have the goal exposed. Just take advantage that they are in the lead, keeping the ball away from all that Nazarene. And that's a not what you're supposed to do when you're in a lead to give it right back. And now IJ Munoz is going to score and tie it up for all that Nazarene, but they just were not prepared for that. So, I mean, we've seen three goals in about a 30-second span. Now 40 seconds remaining. IJ Munis is going to try to fight for control, but gets gets by V Corsic. And now all of it now is going to go for another shot, but it's just a little bit too high. Mighty Gooberfish is going to try to set up the play. 30 seconds remain. Passing it over to IG Munis, but does not get the goal. V Corsic actually gets the save. Shank's going to take the ball down the field, but Twinkle is there to stop it. But now V-Course is going for the shot, but it's just wide right. Looking to bat the center and up again. Clodin's going to look for the shot, but it's just not getting the angle he needs. Less than 10 seconds to go. And Shank's going to go for the shot. Clodin's going to go for the rebound. Ball's still in the air. Can the Pioneer score? Mighty Cooperfish does knock it away. And we are in overtime, folks. So this is going to be critical. Pioneers need to get this goal to take the first game. Ball goes towards Marietta's goal. Clonin does knock it away. And the goal's exposed. If anyone was over there, that would have been the perfect opportunity to strike, but Marietta was not able to capitalize on that. Clonin's now going to take the ball down the field. Twinkle is there to bounce it back. The Corsic is going to snatch it away from him, but Mighty Gooberfish is going to center it up, passing it over to IJ Munoz. Goes for the shot. But a huge save there by Shank. IJ Munoz continuing to set it up, but Shank's going to knock it away. Twinkle actually knocks it down the field. Shank's going to be looking to make the play, but Mighty Cooperfish is going to be able to stop it. Does fall back for it. 
Now Clonin's going to center up the ball, but it just goes to the other side of the field. Twinkle's going to try to take control. V Corset disrupts it towards the center. IJ Mina is going to go for the shot. It goes high on the crossbar, and everyone's falling back except for Mighty Gooberfish. And unfortunately, the Pioneers do not get it. Twinkle takes the ball into his hands. Mighty Gooberfish gets the shot, and Merida gets the flank, but Twinkle is right there to bounce it immediately. And that is a tough loss there in that first game. They're just back and forth. But first game will go to all of it Nazarene. So we're seeing once again, it's, it comes down to offense. Meredith was struggling in the first half of that game. But we saw that they really kicked things up in the second half. But just not being able to take advantage of that brief lead that they have. But we see that IJ Munoz and Mighty Cooper Fish both had six shots at the goal. Marianne is still lacking that offensive aggression if they're going to want to be able to take this series. So we're getting things set up for the second game. So I got to make sure I have everything here good to go. Looks like we got things set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get things underway. So let's see if the Pioneers can make some adjustments and try to take more shots at the goal. We're gonna see Cloden trying to fight for control of the ball, but doesn't find the opportunity. Although IJ Munis will get demoed by V Corsic. Mighty Cooperfish gonna pass it over to Twinkle, but just a little bit to the right. That should have gone in, but they didn't get quite the angle. IJ Munis setting up the play once again, but now the ball's gonna be passed to Mighty Cooperfish, but Twinkle's gonna uh, bounce it over, tries to go for the shot, but it lobs over to the other side of the field. Twinkle will take the boost and try to make the play again. V Corsic is going to get away from Oliver Nazarene, but it's going to get demoed in the process. So now Twinkle's going to get away from Cloden, goes for the shot, but Shank is there to get the save. Cloden's going to just try to get the ball as far away from the, the goal as possible. And Mighty Cooperfish and Shank, everyone's getting demoed, and Cloden's going to be like, you know, I'm just going to take this opportunity to score for the Pioneers. Just look at this, a demo right there, and Clonin's is like, okay. V Corsic is bumping IJ Munis to get away from the goal, and Clonin capitalizes it to take that 1-0 lead. Now, Meredith needs to keep this up. We know how quickly Olivet Nazarene can score. And V Corsic is gonna get uh, demoed. Shank's gonna take the ball down the field, but not gonna have any boost to follow up, but Clonin is now gonna set up, but he's gonna get demoed. And we're starting to see some more demolitions going on uh, in this game. And that might be the theme here. Now, Clodus is going to try to make the play. And v Course is waiting patiently for the opportunity to strike. But Twinkle is going to disrupt that. And Clodus, out of boost, has to fall back. All right, Good Christian is going to take the ball down for Oliver Nazarene. IJ Muno is going to go for the setup. But just a lot of fighting in that corner. Mighty Gooper is going to bounce it towards the center, but Shank's going to it, take it away. Ball gets by Twinkle, but IJ Munis is there to launch the ball back down the field, looking to find an opportunity for Mighty Gooperfish to make a play. But he's going to have to fall back because Cloden does get the ball away from him. We see all three from Albert Nazarene have fallen back. But V Course is going to continue putting some pressure. Shank goes for the shot, but doesn't get it. Clone's going to go for the rebound. And Fort Corsa goes for the shot, but doesn't get it. It gets snatched away from him. As the ball's heading towards the center of the field, Clone is going to go for the shot, but he just gets it a little bit too early. And the ball's heading towards the pioneer side of the field. Shank's going to get demoed. Now, of course, they're going to look for a play, but IJ Munis is going to try to get the ball away. Twinkles docks it towards the side. Cloden's going to try to center it up, but Twinkle takes control of the ball. Shank gets it away from him. Cloden's going to get bumped. They're hoping for a demo, but it didn't quite connect. Mighty Gooperfish is going to be going for the shot, and it's an open goal, and all that Nazarene will tie things up with 2 minutes and 21 seconds remaining in this game. You're just seeing, the v course he tries to go for it, but he's just a second too late. So Marion needs to be ready for that. Mighty Gooperfish is going to go for a quick goal, but Cloden is there to block it, but Twinkle's going to go for a shot, and just another quick strike from Oliver Nazarene University. It's just exposed goals. He of course tries to go for it, but it doesn't get the read.
Now the ball's heading towards on the Nesrin side of the field, but Twinko's going to be able to knock it away. The code's going to disrupt it, gets the save. Shanks now going to try to set the play. Two minutes remaining. Pioneers are now down by one. They were up by one. And a bunch of demos. Three demos in just a single second. Mighty Gooberfish now going to try to kick the ball down the field. It's just flying over. But V Corsic and Cloden will get it away. But another goal by Olivet Nazarene. We're just seeing them run away with this. So they double commit the one block. But they just were not ready for the fall rebound. And now it's a two score difference with a minute 42 remaining. Go ahead take the ball down the field, but IJ Meters does knock away. Of course, it does get the save. Gets passed over the twinkle. We're gonna try to set up the play, but of course it only disrupts it a little bit. Cloden does get the save from Twinkle's shot at the goal. It's heading down. Twinkle misses. And just no follow from the Pioneers. That would have been the perfect opportunity to score. Cloden tries to go for a strike. IJ Munoz does get demoed. One minute remains. And now Twinkle's gonna take control of the field, but for the ball with Cloden's gonna take it away. IJ Munoz knocks it away from the goal. V Corsic does get the ball. He's going to get demoed right afterwards. IJ Munis is going to try to set up the play. 40 seconds remain. Pioneer is still down by two. Shanks now trying to set up things. 30 seconds remain. And the ball hits the crossbar. Shanks going to get demoed, and that's going to be another opportunity for all of it, Nazarene. They're finding their strategy of just finding the opportunities for demos, and that does leave the goal exposed, and Mighty Gooberfish does get the goal uh, for all of it, Nazarene. So 23 seconds remain. Bowden's gonna try to make another play, passing it over to Shank, but all of it, Nazarene do get the ball knocked away. Twinkles takes the ball down the field. Looking to go for a full boost, but Bumps it over towards the side. 10 seconds remain. Twinkle's going to get demoed now by Cloden. Matty was looking for another goal. But that is going to be the game. So we are seeing with that. I mean, Pioneers took a very early lead. Cloden with having two shots at the goal. But after that, it was all Olivet Nazarene. We are seeing 11 shots uh, at the goal and being able to make four of them. The Pioneers are going to have to find an answer with their offensive struggles to be able to advance. But we will see. I think everyone's going to be ready and getting set up for the third game. It is going to be match points for uh, Olivet Nazarene. We're just waiting for everyone to get in, but we should be starting any second. But here we go. It is match point. Shank does win the tip off, but the ball is heading towards Mary's side of the goal. V Corsic does knock it away. Now I'm trying to take the ball towards the goal. It is completely exposed, trying to use full boost and gets the demo to Twinkle, but everyone else does get caught up and not able to score. Mighty Gooberfish is going to get demoed. And Pioneers might be just saying, if you can't beat him, blow him up. But all of it, Nazarene's like, you know what? Doesn't matter. You demo us, we'll just keep scoring goals. So Twinkle does set up the play and goes for the shot. Gordon was just not able to deflect it. So all of it, Nazarene will take that first goal. Now, IJ Muto is taking the ball down the field. Cloden's now going to kind of knock it down. Gets his boost regenerated. Bumps up. And does get the bump in. Shank's going to be trying to take a, make a play, but Twinkle's going to shoot it down. But now it's going to hang straight for the goal, but just a little bit to the right. 
the course of the twinkle fighting over it, but IJ Muniz taking it down the field. Koda knocks it away. Now we're gonna see. Koda is not able to get the ball back. Shank's gonna fight for control. Ready Goober Fish going to set the play for Oliver Nazarene, but Koda goes for the bump. IJ Muniz is trying to pass it over. But Koda and Shank were just a little. I don't think they were communicating with where everyone was going. Twinkle's going to get the stop, and it gets lobbed into the air. Cloden goes for a shot, but IJ Minos is there to deflect it back. Shank's going to get demo, but a huge save there by V Corsic. A, yeah, Alvin Azri was looking for a goal with uh, demo in the goalie, so Meridian has to be very careful with that kind of play. IJ right, Minos is going to go for the shot, but it gets disrupted by both V Corsic and Cloden. We're going to see another shot at the goal, but V Corsic does get the save. Twinkle and V Corsic are going to fight for control, but Cloden's going to snatch it back. And the ball does go in, and Marietta will score. Great play there by Cloden. So he just rolls it over, gets the hit in, and just the perfect angle to bounce in, and Marietta will tie this up. Now Cloden's going to be looking for another opportunity to strike, but just does not have enough boost to follow up. The course is going to get down, and IJ Muniz is taking the ball down the field. But Shank is going to be able to slow it down, despite not having any boost. Now V course is going to go for the shot, but IJ Muniz does get it away from him. Cloden gets the stop. But he does not have any boost, so Twinkle will get it away from him. Goes for the shot, but Shank is going to be able to deflect Twinkle's uh, shot. The goal, Floden still out of boost. He needs to find some boost to be able to make a play, but he's getting disrupted left and right. All of Nazarene looking for bumps and disruptions, and Twinkle's going to capitalize it on it and take the lead. So going to lob it over. Cloden tries to go for the deflect, but Twinkle is right there to be able to just knock it into goal. So now two minutes and 23 seconds remain. It is two to one in all of it Nazarene's favor. Cloden wins the tip off, but Mighty Gooberfish is there to knock the ball down the field. Gets it past V Corsic and a huge save there by Shank. That might have been GG if it went in. But now Shank out of boost, trying to make a play. Cloden's looking for a fall, but doesn't get it. V Corsic tries to stop, but just does not connect. Now Mighty Gooberfish out of boost, but Shank is disrupting a little bit. Cloden now trying to take the ball over, but Twinkle is there for the stop. And now he's going to be taking the ball down the field. But Shank is going to be, get the save. But minute 45 remains. Pioneer is still down by one. IJ Muniz going to set the play for Oliver Nazarene. Cloden's looking to make something. Shank gets the, uh, the stop on the, the attempt at the goal. Now we're going to see another shot, but no follow-up there from Olivet Nazarene. So now the ball is towards their side of the field. Cloden's looking to try to set the play, but actually V Corsic goes a little too high. And Shank will strike to tie up this game. So Marietta is down, but they are not out. Now we're going to see a lot of pressure being played by Oliver Nazarene, but Shank does get the ball away. Out of boost, but he doesn't care. He's trying to get the ball away as much as possible for Cloden to try to make the play. One minute remaining. It is tied to a piece. It could very well be next goal wins this game, and the Pioneers need this to go to game four. Oliver Nazarene needs this to close out the 3-0 series. IJ Munoz gets demoed. Can Marietta capitalize on it, but unfortunately they do not. Shank's trying to set the play for V Corsic who's now going to use his boost to set the play for Cloden. Goes for the shot, but doesn't connect. Shank is going to disrupt. 33 seconds remain, but now IJ Muse was going to try to take the ball down the field. Shank disrupts it. You get the 30-second warning. Alvin Nazarene looking for the shot, but doesn't get the angle. Shank gets it away from IJ Munoz. Is this the opportunity the Pioneers were looking for? The goal was exposed, but now Cloden's going to go for the shot, and the Pioneers will strike. With 18 seconds to go, 
Pioneers are up now, but we have seen how quickly Olivet Nazarene can score. So it is not over yet. They have to prevent any goals for 18 seconds. And then we will get to that game four. Cloden trying to take the ball down, but he's going to lose it. And IJ Venus go for the shot, but Shank is there with the save. Now five seconds remain. Cloden's trying to keep control of the ball. But Oliver Nazarene is looking for a goal, but Mariana will take game three and keep the series alive. So it took a few games, but Marietta was able to hang on. And despite the fact that Alvin Nazarene was still playing very aggressively, a shout out to Shank there with five saves at the goal. So I mean, he really stepped up there and kept the Pioneers alive in the series. So now we're gonna go to a game four. It is still match point for Oliver Nazarene University, but let's see if Marietta can use this momentum to try to get to a game five. Everyone is getting into the lobby, so we should be starting up right about now. So now just press the button and we should be getting over. There we go. So let's see if the Pioneers can get to a game five. But Albert Nazarene wants to close out this series. And V Course is going to get demoed right away. And Albert Nazarene capitalizes it, scoring seven seconds into this game. Marietta needs to be prepared for these demos. We've been seeing this the entire series, demo after demo, and a very classic strategy is demo the goalie, and with the goal exposed, you get a free point. So speaking of demos, Mighty Cooper Vision is gonna get demo. But we're already gonna see, it's gonna be all all right now screen, but Cloning does get the save. Fleekle's gonna try to make the play, but it does get knocked away. And V. Corsic will get a goal for the Pioneers. So that time, the aggression actually got punished. Where they went all in and V. Corsic was able to knock it away from Twinkle. And no one from Albert Nazarene was able to get back in time. So now it's one apiece. Back and forth. Still match point for Albert Nazarene. So Marietta needs this to get to that game five. Mighty Groupervich is going to try to set up the play. Floden's going to knock it over. The Twinkle's going to keep up that aggression as well. Passing it over to IJ Muniz. Is looking to center up the ball for Albert Nazarene. But Pioneers are going to be able to snatch it away. And Shank is going to get demoed by IJ Muniz. V Corsic does knock it over. But Mighty Cooper's looking for the play. But Cloden is going to be kind of fight back. But now Cloden was going to pass over to Shank. But didn't quite connect. Twinkle's going to get demoed. V Corsic going down the goal. But IJ Muniz is there for the save. Cloden was going to go for the shot onto Twinkle, but does not connect. But now an open goal, but Corsic's like, you know what? I'm just going to take it away. Now V Corsic is fighting for it, but Shank is going to get the uh, the save on the shot at the goal. Twinkle's falling down, but Shank is right nearby. Cloden's going to go for the shot, but IJ Munis is there for the save. Going to fly over, looking for a shot himself, but it's going to go wide over to that corner. V Corsic's going to get demoed, and this is the opportunity to... Albert as he was looking for. But is going to go for a shot. Passing over to Shane. Clone's not going to fly over. Tips it towards the center. But IJ Munoz is going to get the block. But Shane's going to stop the progression a little bit. But Mighty Gooberfish is going to use his entire boost to try to set up the play. But Shane's going to knock it down. Get it away from the goal. Gets it past Twinkle. Mighty Gooberfish is there for the block. But still bouncing towards the center. Shane's going to disrupt it a little bit. Gonna snag that boost. V Corsic knocks it away. Gets it past Twinkle. Shank's gonna go for the goal. And Pioneers are up. And I don't know if you can hear it, but Shank's just like, woo! Just a great shot there. Flying over, securing the shot. Pioneers are up by one. But two minutes and 55 seconds is a very long time in Rocket League. So just because you're up now does not mean you're gonna stay up. The Pioneers have to keep up this momentum. They have to play very defensively. They've been doing that pretty well so far, but they just have to keep up that offense. Clonin's now going to try to set up the play. IJ Muniz actually bumps Mighty Goonfish in that process. A little miscommunication there. Clonin's going to be centering up the ball. V-Course is going to fly over, but Shank is also there to set up the shot, and Twinkle's going to get demoed. But can Marietta capitalize on it, but IJ Muniz is there for the block. Going to get that full boost. Going to try to go down the field. 
Mighty Goomberfish is going to have to knock it towards this corner there. Lone's going to slop it down, but Shank's going to fight with Ajimus, but loses that battle. The Corset tips it over. And Shank is actually going to pass it over to Cloden, who's now going to try to fight in the center. He's going to get demoed. But the ball is on Albert and Azumi inside the field. Twinkle's going to take it over. But V Corset gets the bump. Now it's lobbing towards the goal, but Mighty Group of Fish does get the save. Cloden's looking for the rebound. But Mighty Group of Fish gets it away from the goal. But now Cloden's going to try to keep up the pressure. Going up back to himself, but going down the field. Shank's going to. No, it doesn't quite connect. But does get disrupted. Minute 40 remains. Pioneer's still up by one. Cloden's going to get the demo on IJ Munoz. But Minor Gooberfish is there. We see the bump by Shank. He, of course, is going to go for the shot, but it does get tipped. Another shot towards Albert Nazarene's goal. Twinkle does tip it over to the side. Cloden's going to go for the bump. And we're seeing the Pioneers play more aggressive. We're seeing them getting more demos. We're seeing them get more bumps. That's what you got to do in a game like this. Especially when everything's on the line. There is no need to hold back. We see a triple commit there by the Pioneers. Cloden's going to get demoed. Shank's going to knock it away from Mighty Goofish. Twinkle's going to fall back to try to catch it. But Shank goes for the shot. But IJ Minus is there for the save. Cloden's now going to set up one minute remain. Pioneer's still up by one. Now Mighty Gooberfish is going to set up the play, passing it over to Twinkle. Exposed goal though, but does not get the follow-up. If you're, I'm betting Twinkles is not happy about that right now. Just because it was an open goal, but does not able to line up the ball. And if they need that tying shot, 35 seconds remain. Alvin Nazarene is looking for that goal, but V-Course is going to try to get it away from Twinkle. Is able to do so. Mighty Gooberfish takes it back. 30 seconds remain. Looking for the goal right here, but Cloden does get the block. Can the Pioneers hang on for another 23 seconds? The Corset taking the ball down the field. It's fighting with Mighty Gooberfish. Twinkle's going to pass it over to IJ Munoz. It's going for the shot. But a huge save there by Cloden. Now Mighty Gooberfish is going to try to set up another shot. The ball is dangerously lobbed right by the goal. But fortunately, there was no follow-up. But now Albert is going to go for the shot. But it hits the side. And the, it's now one second. Shank's going to get demoed. Albert Nazarene is looking for the overtime goal. They're trying to keep the ball alive, and they're going to get the overtime goal. Like I said, this game is not over until the ball hits the ground. And it's just sheer determination from Albert Nazarene. Marietta just needed to smack the ball down, but they couldn't. But now it's overtime. Marietta needs this goal to get to game five. If Albert Nazarene scores, it's going to be GG. Now Albert Nazarene is going all in, but the course is going to knock it back, going to go for the shot. Shanks is going to get demos. That's going to stop Marietta's offense for a little bit. The course it tries to go for the shot, but actually bumps Cloden in the process. Now Twinkle's looking for the play. Ball's heading towards the goal, and Albert Nazarene will score. Shank's not able to get in Cloda and uh, the entire team tries to block it, but they're just not able to connect. And that is going to be the match for in favor of Oliver Nazarene. Three to two. I mean, you can see the, the disappointment there. Where they had the opportunity to take it to a game five, but they just weren't able to do so. But we saw some improvements there with Marietta's offensives in that game. But it just was not enough uh, to get to that fifth game. So that is going to be it for us today. Uh, just to give you an update on the schedules for this week. So tomorrow, our Overwatch team will be playing against George Mason University at 7 o'clock. Our Rainbow Six team, who's supposed to play the big rival Butler on Thursday, will now be playing it on Wednesday uh, sometime. I don't know if it's 7 or 8. I'll have to take a look. But it's going to be on Wednesday, so we're going to have stuff going on on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because Thursday we'll have our Smash team and our League of Legends team playing. No matches on Friday, but on Saturday, our Fortnite team will be participating in the Star League Championship, and our League of Legends team will be playing at 4 o'clock. So please be sure to join us for all those matches this week. But for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marriott College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, X, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shout-outs to all of our supporters, HyperX, for being the official peripheral sponsor of Marriott College Esports. We also want to thank Over the Moon Pizza, uh, Buy Blue Light, Elgato, Incrediware, Kovacs, uh, MSI, and I think 
think I'm missing one. Yeah, so. And Over the Moon Pizza, of course. Yeah, and Over the Moon. I've already mentioned it, but okay. Uh, but thank you all for your follows. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night.